Let's get into the next conversation now. Despite the extension in the deadline for the exchange of old Naira notes for new note ones, several commercial banks have not been issuing both old and new Naira notes at their ATMs. Well, this is following the Central Bank of Nigeria's recent cash force policy to eight new Naira notes in circulation. Perhaps the real winners here are the POS operators who now charge much more than usual for cash withdrawals and transfers, blaming the excess charge on the difficulties they face while getting the cash. Yes, for more analysis, we have uh, uh, iBrand TV senior analyst, uh, Charles Fakoha. He joins us again via the telephone. Thank you for finding time to join us again. Thank you for having me. It's yeah. always a pleasure. All right. So let, let's look at these uh, in details. Now, you know, we're talking about it earlier. Uh, while we're reviewing some of our top business headlines. Well, the recent cash, uh, cash uh, swap policy by the Central Bank of Nigeria and the lack of new Naira note. Uh, so talk to us. How do you think this has affected small businesses, businesses and by extension the economy? Because it looks like everywhere you go now, we're having a crisis at hand. Yes, um, thank you very much. It's expected, um, like I said, I will end my belief in particular before even after the first deadline. Two days to that deadline, most of the small businesses will shut down, saying that there is a problem trying to take their money to the bank. But what we are not realizing, country is breaking up. Is first of all, I'm not convinced when you talk about financial inclusion. It is really a problem. Mm -hmm. And we see that in the cities, all the radio stations, and the stations, and analyze, analyze, analyze. I am convinced now that over 80% of Nigerians don't have bank accounts. Be using my own local government, a tiny local government to get back with as a case study. I was amazed. I was surprised to see that before that deadline, I could see the number of young persons even government workers running to the bank with a lot of cash. They don't have bank accounts. They want to return their money. So it shows them that when we talk of financial inclusion, it is real a problem. And we need to address it. Now, mm. coming to the, uh, the, the uh, availability of other new Iran to new Iran loan was a real problem. Mm. Now, saying the cash, businesses, at the point in time, they were not have to do that loan any longer again. And one of those are said, there have no action. So even watching the issue, I am one of the advocates of cashless policy, transfer, transfer, transfer. We even try, after getting a little bit of um, fish supply in my village, so the fisherman just came and said, it's where is it come out? Ah, he said he has a bank account. I said, okay, good. Mm. I will transfer. I was happy. So when that cut off 2,500 naira, it did not go. You send us into USSD. That cut off 2,500 naira did not go. Meanwhile, I have taken possession of the fish. I have even gone to pay good bill for it and I could not even pay. So it was a problem with the internet also. The USDB, the way I'm told, it doesn't require internet. How come it was not even going? So we won't have a heart to do some. Uh, Transfer, could not even transfer. So you can see that was a particular problem. And it is all this we have seen mass testing in what we cannot get to know for cash. The city has said, yes, we are going to collect in cash, this is going to be the counter, we will pay you the new currency. As I speak to you now, I have gotten information from persons, young persons that were sent to the bank, and they have come back and said, the IRS bank has given them that even 5,000. Naira. The POS are not even paying. So, like mm. you have said in your intro, it is the POS persons that are even making a deal out of it. Mm. Then, are we going to blame them? Because okay. of the so, so, for them to even get this tax. Yeah, you so, can see. So, we get the policy to... is good, but again, that is a cultural problem that we to address. Mm. Now, you raise key issues here. Um, one, you talk about the issue of inclusion, and which means that a lot of rural dwellers are left out and they are affected. Um, I mean, the CBN has said that the rate of inclusion has gone higher, and by 2023, perhaps they should 
achieve um, uh, maybe by 100% of um, uh, uh, you know, penetration when it comes to financial inclusion. Do you think the CBN needs to review that, uh, you know, that position? But because they said by 2023, they should be able to get or penetrate the rural dwellers area by 100% when it comes to financial inclusion. Review that figure. Yeah, it's quite ambition, uh, ambitious. It mm. is good to set your goals and say hi, so that when you do, you don't miss it. You know that you have done something well. The issue of financial inclusion is a real problem. I'm speaking from practical experience. I was involved in a project that is ongoing in my locality. And at one particular day, the workers almost more be the of outside. I have to intervene. You know why? He told them, okay, I don't have cash, don't give me a cash number, I want to transfer. And virtually all the work up there, with the exception of an elderly man who had worked somewhere before, but you know, I retire. None of these young persons had a bank account. They all wanted their money paid. Are we going to blame them? This and they. Okay. So it's a real problem. Now, telling them to go and get this, their money, the old currency what they have. It can be a problem. That's why we are seeing this kind of issues now. So, telling now that by the year 2023, they are going to do what they are going to do, they are going to do what they are going to do, I think they are not done and not in that regard. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are POS all over the places, there are money agents, that the real local people, most of them do not have a bank account. What you see, and what I observe locally, was, they have one or two persons, maybe their leader, who has an account, and one they want to collect money, you know, they give him that money, he goes to get to this. And once they give money, they don't have to tell him, he goes to withdraw and begin to give to each of them. That is what I have on that. So, they have to work with to be done. Not only at the local government headquarters, but in each of these rural communities. If as local as my being, I can make a phone call. I can do a, 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 Zoom, a Zoom meeting. And the banks do not have any skill not to be in every locality in this country. You don't need to have a single bank branch, but you can have agents. And these agents don't just need to sit in one place. You need to engage the community. You need to engage the traditional rulers. You need to engage their cooperative. You need to engage them using their local language so that each of them will not open account. I saw right. that experience in the where, like I said, if some men will come together, 10 of them, to one person will not have that bank account. That is a very critical problem. They all collect money, give to this one person, but he opens an account, and that is it. So that will not be financial inclusion. So how to solve this problem? We need to get them educated, let them be aware, and let the bank Central bank, commercial bank, big money agents, be transparent and open to them because there is also a problem of trust with this um, institution. If there is so, so what you're saying is that the CBN needs. Yes. To their money with them. So, so what you're saying is that the CBN, in terms of financial inclusion, uh, the rural, uh, um, you know, areas, the CBN. You know, needs to do a, a quite a lot of work there. But let, let's shift again now to, uh, and look at uh, this naira uh, circulation, and of course, the access to to to, to the new note by Nigerians, uh, the lack of access to the new note. So uh, it looks like the POS operators, uh, you know, are the real winners here because charging much more than usual for cash withdrawals and transfers. So what do you make of this? Um, do you think they, they have to be blamed? Because that's one. The second question a lot of people ask is that how do they even have access, you know, to this money, so these funds, before they can even start charging more on it? Okay, let's take the first question. Whether they need to be blamed or not. For me, the issue of blame has not even arise because these things have done orderly. We are seeing an orderly uh, facing out of the old road and the new road is causing simultaneously. People are going about their business normally. We won't have this issue. It is a crisis situation. And what do you expect? What do you expect in this crisis situation? They themselves have said 
is to get this mineral load, this cash. It's a lot of problems for me. So they decided to now double their usual cases. Yes, you say it's an issue of um, the integrity here and there. But the man, the POS operator will tell you, I want to show a lot to get this cash. So for me to compensate myself, I need to add. Mm. I also paid uh, 500 naira for 5,000 in my locality. Okay? So what, what, are the, what are the conclusions of that? Yeah, so I, w I was saying that uh, uh, perhaps we will have to, CBN will have to find a way to address this issue going forward because some people are blaming, uh, you know, the POS operators. But how about the banks as well? Yes, yeah, for me, I think the, the blame should go squarely to the banks and, of course, the CBN. Because this is saying this cash arm goes. And you go to the bank, the bank will tell you it is not available. It's available. There is no way the bank can go and stop their ATM with new loans that they, don't, they claim is to be available. So between CBN and the deposit money bank, you don't even know who is treated on the two. And this is, I'll give you the position to even ask the CBN governor. The same Nigerian total amount of notes that were printed. We are told that these notes were not printed abroad. They were printed here in Nigeria. So that was the total number that was printed. Total number of cash you are mobilized from the public. Because if you are taking over 2 trillion naira from the public, Mm. In terms of mobilizing uh, the older notes. In the amount of cash you have, the new notes are also printed. That should open up the supply to the bank. Because the POS are just flowing from the bank. The POS also use the bank to get their own cash. So once the banks don't have enough cash, there is nowhere the people they are going to get their own end, cash. So since CBN and the general the bank, let them tell us the truth where the cash is. Of course, you must have seen some videos going viral where people were explaining the new Naira note. Right. You can say, mm. for me, that is an indictment on all the security agencies and, of course, the CBA. Because the law. 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 Because the the law. Because 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 the law. We will put a stop to this kind of unhealthy manner confining patient currency. Because some people are also saying, look, um, you also have to bring the, the, the bankers into the conversation because if those new Naira notes uh, are not in the hands of Nigerians, uh, and then you now find them where you are not supposed to find them. So, how did it get there in the first place? But I Meanwhile, the CBN has urged Nigerians to exercise patience as they are working very hard to address the challenges of queues at the ATM. So, but how effectively well uh, is the CBN uh, ready to address it, you know, or follow uh, with action? Because the question is, yes, they've said, be patient, we're addressing it. But again, uh, the effectiveness of their action is what we're asking. So talk to us about what you think uh, with the statement they've made with regards to how they're addressing the situation. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Again, it is not the result that the girls want to see. Tell me some story that you're addressing is we will not be patient enough. We will be patient to see the results. That is what Nigeria has for. We want to see that these kids are being picked up. We want to see that this cash is able. Now, the CBN has said, I will draw cash. You that have put over the counter, when they take the 20,000 naira. That is thick. They say, we don't know who is telling us the truth. People have gone to the bank and have come back and said, the bank can only give them 5,000 naira. So you see, CBN mm. says something, and on ground, it is the same thing having a Nigeria is experiencing. Then coming to the bankers, yes, the bankers are also to be on ethical practices. It is very clear now that it has six. CBN does not even control the bank. The bank does do what they think they want to do. But they will tell you that no, this is the car that's available, and they are trying to rush out it. Come, like you have asked, there is a few of new loads, and we are seeing this load in passage. People are spraying it. 
and we are saying that you can speak of this loan. How does this loan get to those persons? Of course, it's through the deposit money bank, and of course, probably through the bankers. So again, CBN come back to speak penalties for any bank or banker that is involved in the sale of this new Naira note. So that they will know that the government of the day, that CBA, is serious about okay. the And some of these issues are right. still let, let, of the Naira notes, but it is still a crime. And yeah. nobody has been arrested to be put to some particular other person. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know again, some will say, yeah, um, CBN created this uh, mess in the first place. They should be able to address it. But again, another concern is that election is just around the corner, uh, just about three weeks from here. Uh, so how well do you think this problem will go away before the election? Because if you drag into election, a lot of people are saying it will affect the process uh, of the, the exercise. So. How well do you think, or yeah. how urgently well do you think the CVN can nip this in the bud before the election? Well, even if the CVN comes up fully today, yes. it's still going to affect the election because, in terms of mobility, of course, we have seen um, the electoral body complain of um, the CVN and all that in terms of the net materialized windows. I don't know how urgently with the first crisis is going to affect the election and um, logistics. Yes, this Naira note also is still going to affect the election. So what right. CBN can do now, we we'll have at least three weeks to the election. All arms must be on deck. The security forces, the the CDN, the commercial banks, the PS of sector, everybody must be on deck. And the CBN sorry that leadership and of course to the bank. To ensure that if it is, we don't have a loan that we have printed, why can't we print a loan this, of this new loan? Since we are, they have been printed here in the country, mm. it is not an issue of ways and means like this printing. No, these are money that have been mobilized from the public and into the banking system. Of course, if we have been able to mobilize over 25% of loan oh. after the banking system, why not print that equivalent amount? Of new Naira notes and calculate it through the commercial and it gets to this. People mm. who have who don't have okay. bank account before, who should have this exercise and want to deposit their money, then they should now have they should okay. not be able to accept their account mm. in the bank. All right. the new I, I think, notes, I think we just have to go now. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll have to just go now. Thank you so much, uh, Charles Fakoha, for sharing your thoughts with us, Ibrand TV. Uh, analysts, we appreciate your time. Have a great day. Thank you for having me, for Frank. Thank you. Still to come after the break, Brent crude futures rose 65 cents. That's about 0.8 percent to settle at 83 dollars uh, a barrel in early trade. We'll be back in a moment to look at these uh, details. <laughs>